Hi everybody, this is Bobby with BC Designs and I know it has been a very long time since I've uploaded a video. And so as we get into this video today, I will explain to you where I've been, what happened, why I left. I'll spill all the tea for you guys. So first, I apologize that it's taken me this long to put this video out there, but I just didn't know what to say and it was kind of just really awkward, you guys. But I have gotten back into stamping and I wanted to share this project with you guys. And so I'm just gonna tell you as I'm stamping and creating this project with you guys, we'll just talk about the whole thing. I just didn't wanna sit and you guys just watch my hands move back and forth as I talk. So if we do get the project finished before I'm done, I will continue on and explain everything that's that's been going on in my life for the last, I don't know, nine or 10 months. Um, but I'm going to tell you everything I'm using for this project first, and then we'll get started. But I decided to use the Easter Bunny bundle. Um, I believe this is retiring. You guys have to forgive me because I have been out of the loop, so I am... I have forgotten names of things, everything. So this is a Reese's peanut butter treat holder. And I made this for my coworkers. I know it's a little bit late. This is gonna go up on Monday, the day after Easter. But it's a cute design, the, the treat box. So you could always change out the Easter theme for whatever theme that you want. So for the guys, I made this cute blue one and I used balmy blue. Everything is the same colors except for the balmy blue is the only thing I changed out. And then I used lemon lolly to stamp the Easter bunny. And with this one, I used bubble bath. I hope I can remember the names of everything, guys, because I might draw a blank. So we are gonna use memento ink. And then I pulled out my lemon lolly just to show you guys what I used for stamping the bunny for the guys. So we, we're not going to really use that one, but we are going to use the bubble bath. And I got kind of ahead of myself. And this uh, strip is about a half inch by, I believe I made this one, uh, one and five eighths long because it goes on the bottom. And I did use soft sea foam to stamp the grass. I just stamped the grass on that. And you'll see as I put it together. So we're back to bubble bath is about the only thing that we're going to use. I am going to use this ribbon pack. Now, when I thought I was going to be completely done with Stampin' Up, I redid my craft room. I took all of these ribbons out of their original packaging. So I had to look this up, but this is the sheer ribbon combo pack. And I believe this one is retiring as well. So we're going to use the bubble bath ribbon. And then I also used the Subtles 6x6 Designer Series paper. I used the Radiating Stitches dies. This is the online exclusive still. And then the Stylish Shape dies. And I can't remember if those are retiring. I've been watching other people's videos and things. And I do think that those are not going to be around. And that makes me very, very sad. And then so I'm also going to be using blends. I am using the Light and Dark Soft Sea Foam, Light and Dark Balmy Blue, Light and Dark Lemon Lolly, and Light and Dark Bubble Bath. And then... I'm going to move this. Let me just move this over here for right now. So I have a piece of bubble bath that we're going to use the stylish shapes to cut that label. Basic white that we're going to cut with that label. Soft sea foam for one of the radiating dies. And then lemon lolly with the heart from the radiating dies. And then I have a piece of basic white that I will stamp our eggs on and we will have to fussy cut those. But before I get going any further i'm going to pause the video right here die cut these out and then i'll be right back okay guys i have all of those cut out and i'm just going to put them off to the side now i jumped ahead also and stamped the rabbit one extra and wasn't realizing i needed to do it on camera i'm out of practice you guys but i just used basic white cardstock and stamped the rabbit using uh, bubble bath ink and then for your base, I'm gonna get all this out of the way and then I promise I'll start, I'll, st I'll start spilling the tea. <laughs> okay, the 
the base of the box is bubble bath and it's three and three quarters by nine and on the long side you're going to score at one and three quarters two and a half four and a quarter and five okay and then we have two pieces of the dsp i'm going to move this out of my way and for the bottom piece it is three and five eighths by one and five eighths. And then for the top, it is three and five eighths by two and an eighth. And then I'm just gonna score this really quickly. So you guys, my husband worked where he worked, um, they closed and he'd been there like 38 years. So for this short step, short, Part right here we're going to use tear tape and when I do this I always like I try not to make it go over the sides and so if I'm a little bit short on that end what I do is I just bring the next one and kind of stagger them and do it like that I'm gonna try to get one more piece in there that wasn't very straight but I think I can fit one more whoops one more right there. So anyway, they decided uh, where he worked, they were going to close. And so we were really torn on what to do. And should he retire or what we knew our financial situation, if he retired, was going to change. And we just kind of thought that it would be best if I just quit stamping up. And I am also going to tell you guys, and then you just fold it over till that bottom is on the other bottom. And then you can see this will stick, just slide right in there. And you can kind of fix your ends if you want. I just kind of slid mine in there because it made it easier to put the DSP. So anyway, we, you know, we talked about it and everything and I was really burnt out. I'm not gonna lie, I'd been a demonstrator for eight years. And I tried really hard to make this as a business. I tried to earn the incentive trips and everything and build a team and all that kind of stuff. And I never earned the incentive trip. Honestly, I don't think I even came close. I mean, not where I would say close. I mean, I did pretty good, but I mean, I ended up selling in eight years, a hundred uh, over a hundred thousand dollars. So I, I did get that accomplishment, but I knew when I quit, I am using the, a retired three quarters uh, circle punch. You could use any circle punch that you want. Um, but I knew if I quit, I was going to lose everything. I was going to lose my team. I would lose my anniversary date. I would lose my sales. I would lose everything. But like I said, I was really kind of burnt out, you guys, and really tired. I was working this as a, a full-time job. I mean, I was really doing this full-time as much as what I was doing my day job that I normally go to. And it just, it was like I didn't have time to do anything else but stamp and design and all that kind of stuff. So I just, we both just kind of thought, you know, it's just for the best, just, just stop. So I did, and I it didn't bother me for the longest time. Like, I really didn't do anything from last July, I think it was, moving forward. And then um, a, about a month ago, probably the end of February, the beginning of March, I think it was, I really started missing doing this and doing the videos. And I kept thinking... What could I do videos about? You know, what can I, what can I do? Kind of like I was doing Stampin' Up! and still have that connection with the people and the friends and everything that, that I had on my YouTube channel. And I started quilting like right after, um, right after. I love to quilt. I'm not that great at it. I'm very new at it. Um, and honestly, it's kind of funny because the same thing happened the last time I joined Stampin' Up! was I had bought a brand new uh, sewing machine and then joined Stampin' Up! And then I didn't, uh, I didn't sew at all. Like I just did Stampin' Up! And um, that's kind of what has happened here again because I bought a brand new sewing machine after I quit and I totally redid my craft room. 
and then I was buying material and things like that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I haven't used my stand in forever, so I apologize about that. Hold it on a minute and let me see if I can get this. I might, let me pause it so I can tighten this up. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. It's above my head, so I didn't even see it until I looked up that it had started to slope. So hopefully it hadn't been that way for too long. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly color this. These, uh, you guys can just kind of see the colors that I'm picking up as I'm coloring them. Okay, so now I, I knew that this would happen if that happened. If I paused very much, I would forget. But I think where I was going with what I was saying was, um, I'm going to switch this out. I think my light is darker than my dark, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um... But I was redecorating my sewing room. You know, I was having fun doing that. And it did take me several months to do it and get everything set up. And I just took my time doing it. And, you know, once in a while I would I would miss it. And I would think about stamping up and things like that. But it wasn't that frequent. Like, it really wasn't bothering me that much. And I wasn't, like, really watching videos <clears throat> or paying attention, or really keeping up with anything that was going on. And I thought about resigning when I knew that, you know, this was probably going to be what happened, was that I was going to quit. But I have, I had a team, and I did not want to do that to them. I wanted to stick around as long as I possibly could for my team, because that really meant a lot to me. They mean a lot to me. Um, I just didn't want to feel like I abandoned them. So I thought, you know, even though I know I'm not going to be purchasing and buying Stampin' Up! products right now, I am just going to stick it out until I drop. And because, you know, if you don't meet your minimums, I am sorry, guys, I'm going to adjust this. I have done everything I can think of to make it stop moving. Sorry about that, you guys. I will get this fixed before I do an another video, I promise. But I didn't want to resign. Like I said, I didn't want to do that to the team. I wanted to stay as long as I possibly could for them. So the end of January was when I officially dropped January 31st, which, which coincidentally was my dad's birthday, would have been my dad's birthday. Um, so that was kind of a bummer and kind of sad. <laughs> But that was my official last day as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I can't log in. I can't see anything. I can't, I, I have really no idea what's going on. I'm a customer right now. That's that's basically what it is, is I am a customer. So I lost everything. I lost my team. I lost my sales. I lost my anniversary date. I lost it all. So, Okay, I didn't do my yellow on the multicolored egg, so let's go back and do those really quick. Um, but I have, like I said, you know, I started missing it, and so I decided that I might rejoin again, and I talked to my husband, and I'm not going to lie, he wasn't very happy. He's more concerned. He, he knows how much I spent before. Um, he retired, and that's what he keeps telling me, is that, you know, you're not going to be able, our, our, our budget has changed. You're not going to be able to spend like you did before. And I told him, I promise I won't. So I'm going to be very frugal in the things that I purchase. And when I purchase, you know, I used to do the unboxing videos and show you guys everything I bought at once. That might change to where I can't buy everything at once now, and I have to do um, videos as I purchase things. Hold on a minute, guys. I am very upset with my camera stand. And I have to tell you guys, I have like, I don't want to say the name because I don't want to trash talk anybody ever, but I paid a lot of money for this stand and I have never liked it. Trying to get my phone in it is like so hard. I even had my husband look and, and you know, I was like, am I doing this right? Am Am I missing something on this? And just like you guys have seen right now, it leans and all that kind of stuff. You can't, and everything is tight. Like they're so tight. Like I, my thumb hurts where I was trying to tighten them so tight the first time when I paused the video to try to tighten them up. So anywho, 
will get back to me. So we've discussed it and I have decided that I am going to sign back up, but I cannot sign back up until the 1st of May because if you sign, if you drop and you sign back up under the same demonstrator that you was your upline the first time, then you can sign right back up. Not a big deal. But if you decide to sign up under somebody else, you have to wait 90 days. So I am waiting the 90 days. And I will tell you right now, I there is absolutely nothing wrong with the demonstrator that I was previously under. There are no hard feelings. There is nothing bad. There's no bad blood. Nothing at all like that. She was a great upline. I just adore her and have nothing bad to say about her. But I will tell you, um, the person I am going to sign back up under who I've decided, um, she has a training program. And when I was a demonstrator before for many, many, many years, I paid to have that training. She's closer to me as well. And um, if you join under her, you don't have to, if you're her direct... I think even maybe people that sign up, like if I get people to sign up under me and have a team again, they would get her programs. I'm I'm not sure. So I don't want to speak about that right now. But anyway, I wouldn't have to pay for that. And that is why I'm signing up under her. And I, I know her. I've met her, you know, a few times. And I just simply adore this lady. And like I just said, she's closer. I can go to some of her um, things that she does, the retreats that she does. I actually went last um, April to one of her retreats in Michigan. And I will tell you guys, I, I'm not trying to keep it a secret or anything, but it is Rhonda Wade. She is the bomb, I think, in my opinion. And I absolutely adore her. I know that my camera slipped. Let me get this undone and I'll pause it and we'll readjust again. If I don't throw the camera stand out my front door. Keep moving it, the arm in different angles, thinking that that's going to help. And I don't think it's helping. But yes, it is. It is Rhonda Wade. She has um, Creating Success with Rhonda Wade is her training program. And like I said, I can go to her retreats and things, and I loved her training. I learned so much from her, and I just thought, you know, I'm just going to do that, and then I will save myself that money, and I know that I like her, and she is a huge success, so... That's what I've decided to do, you guys. So May 1st, I will be signing back up under Rhonda. And I hope that you guys, that if you were past, um, past customers, if you enjoyed my videos, you'll continue to support me and watch my YouTube channel. And I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so frustrated with this right now. But that is what happened, and, you know, it was really hard. I think one of the, the things that I most struggled with the most was, I don't think I was trying to overdo it, but what was the the frustrating for me was you spend so much time doing a video and so much time planning a class. You know what, you guys, I forgot to put the, gra the grass on, and... I am just going to lift this up now. I knew if I started talking that I would forget something. But, you know, this, this video is kind of a, like, let me spill my heart to you guys. <laughs> so we don't really care if I'm messing up the project, right? You guys will forgive me. I'm I'm new, kind of, sort of. So, um, but anyway, that was, like, really, really hard was to spend so much time designing cutting kits and everything and then... You know, if it was crickets, if nobody signed up or if you only got a few signups like that was that made it really hard. It's like you felt like all your hard work kind of was for naught. And that is that was kind of discouraging. So this this time I'm going to try to take it slow and easy. I'm starting out with doing these simple videos like like this. And then um, I am going to have my in color club. I have to wait because I can't see 
the new catalog. So getting the prices and things like that is going to be kind of hard for me to do right now. But I am going to, when I sign up on May 1st, I'm hoping that I can kind of get that all going. I will have the sign up ready so that way you can go ahead and sign up if you think you want to be a part of my in color club and then i i will just bill you like on the first or the second of may once i get a chance to look at the catalog and the prices and everything so what i normally do is you get for five months you'll get one of the new in colors and it'll be a pack of the paper the blends if it comes with blends the stamp and write marker, um, the ribbon, anything that comes like the embellishments, like the the little rhinestones or anything that they might have, um, those are always included in that. And if you're local to me, you could do porch pickup, so you wouldn't have to pay anything for your shipping and handling. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put a couple of these. I didn't put these on the original one that I did, but I saw them and I thought, you know what, let's. Let's try it and see what it looks like. I always like a little bit of bling. So that's it, guys. There's like no big story, really. It's just, you know, I really think I made a rash decision. <laughs> I had thought about it for a long time, and I really didn't want to do it. And it was just to the point to where I thought, yeah, I can do it. It'll be okay. I won't miss it that much. And I have, over the last couple of months, really, really missed everybody and enjoyed talking with everybody. So like I said, I hope you guys will support me. I hope that you will um, continue to follow me. I have my Facebook page, Instagram, and my YouTube. And I am going to try to do my weekly videos um, on Mondays and Thursdays like I used to. If I do start doing Facebook Lives again, which which I think I probably will, and offer my free make and takes with a purchase, I probably won't start those until sometime in May because I would like to get the new product that everybody's going to want to see, and I can't get that until I sign up in May um, on May 1st, so I can't be designing and, and all that kind of stuff, so I'll probably just be posting YouTube videos and just posting on my Facebook page until I can actually get an order in where I can join on May 1st. But I thank you guys. Please make sure that if you're not subscribed to my channel and hit the like button, you guys. Um, I, I appreciate you. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, if I didn't answer anything that you're curious about or in the project, if I missed telling you something that you wanted to know, let me know, guys. Thanks, and God bless.